In addition to giving you feedback on essays where I write directly on the paper or if you give a speech in class where I'll use a rubric to evaluate your speech, you can also get feedback about your work in two other places and I want to make sure you check them regularly. The first would be on Google Drive. When you share a document with me, I can give comments to you on that document itself and when you reopen it, it'll show my comments. So here I've logged in as my imaginary student Phil Anderson and I've got my random autobiography here. If I click directly on the random autobiography, it pops up and over on the right hand side there's a comment. Now right now I can't see it. I've got to drag over to actually see what the comment is. So when you submit things on Google Drive, check there first for most of the comments. The other place you'll get very quick comments on different assignments is on Jupyter Grades. When you log into your Jupyter Grades website you'll see your classes and then you can see my class here. Click on the grade itself and this will take you to a breakdown of every single assignment. Some assignments if they're missing there'll be comments at the bottom and you should read the comments as well. The tendency, I think, is to look too quickly at the grade itself or at these four categories and see how your grade is breaking down and then react to that. There's much more information down below. Um, often when I put in a score for an assignment, I'm going to add a comment for you specifically. And if I do that, it'll have your name at the beginning. So look down here where September 3rd, the Odyssey Quiz Book 1 was turned in. There's a comment for Phil down here. Read those comments because I write those with you in mind and I want to make sure you check them out. So be sure to look at those two places for feedback as well, Google Docs and Jupyter Grades.